Hi folks, welcome back for another adventure. I have Kevin Bergeron visiting and I, I picked up this RM, the Suzuki RM something. I mean, if you look under the seat, it's telling me that it's an RM125 and I got all these parts and pieces and Kevin has a little more experience with this stuff. So if I, I can bother you to, to tell me something about what I bought here. Well, it definitely looks like a 76 um, with the dual shocks. These are here. A lot of people cut these up and make the uh, the mono shock. So if it was a mono shock, it'd be a lot newer. Um, you know, it looks like they it's got the wrong engine on it, but you can tell by the custom mounts that they made down bottom here and up here. So you get the mount down here. So you had that other motor. Looks like they silicone the base right there, the gasket. <laughs> so they did a lot of mo heavy modifications like I from the head to um, accommodate for the exhaust for the expansion chamber. I call this black death because when you have that much, yeah. it folds over and gets into the engine. It does, and that right there is a real killer for two strokes too, especially if it starts to get up and it, it can melt and get stuck in the rings. Um, so you can see right here on this one where your clutch cable comes down and goes up to your mechanism here, on that motor you showed me earlier. Oh, we got a boo-boo too, Kevin. Yeah, we got a boo-boo right there where they, uh, they, it looks like JB welded it a little bit. Oh, more than a little bit. Looks like a, a whole tube. <laughs> okay, how's my shift, my kickstarter don't look yeah, too yeah. bad. No, the kickstarter looks actually pretty good. They Here, let's take... This is the dual plug, so whenever they fouled, you just take your plug off and you stick it on your other plug. Oh, really? Yeah, cool. it's a pretty cool idea. Um, you get your regular pull choke here. I'm not sure if that's the uh, factory carburetor for this, so it looks like they put a performance one on there. Your shifter shaft looks clean. You definitely gonna need some sprockets. That's just wiped out. Yeah, and they, they custom made a lot of mounts for the spike. A lot of stuff was custom on this. <laughs> Another word for that is hacked. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they got well at least they um they went with the oil filled reservoirs for the shocks. Is that a, that's aftermarket? That's aftermarket, yep. Yeah, because the um the factory ones would be right onto it. And you got the motor right here, it looks like they got a lot of the front fender here okay I got the covers and the expansion chamber yeah maybe the rear fender here looks like it's been uh, etched up pretty well <laughs> oh. oh they put the sheet metal underneath on the inside yep let's take a look and see how the tank fits on the uh, actual bike because I'm suspecting there's a lot of in um, inaccurates on this uh, bike Oh, no, you can lay, you can oh. right, lay down. I just want to take okay. the seat off of it. Okay. It Not much of an assistant. All right, with a little bit of mounting, that dart right will fit right on there. So, yes, it's the right tank. Oh, good. Okay, so you got the right tank, proper tank. Here's your expansion pipe, uh, pipe mount here. This right here would bolt down to here, but I got some stuff I'm, I'm catching on up in there yeah. for wiring, so we don't want to push too hard. Good, good. And then we got, let's see, where's that expansion chamber? Uh, here's the oh, expansion yeah, here chamber. Is. Look at that, guys. We're building it. We are building an RM right for you. Yeah, I guess I guess they, they wrap it to get more power. Yeah, they wrap it. Oh, help your legs, too, if you don't burn yourself. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. We have to go on the other side of the clutch cable on this one. All right, so the exhaust is looks like it goes in the. How's this one go on this one? Let's see. It would be sitting up there like that, but yeah, this is the this is not the correct one for this. That's why they shaved it down here. Yeah. It yeah. looks like they were working on it to modify it because. If you look where the exit is for the exhaust. Yeah, you got the wrong angle. You got the wrong angle. So that should be sitting up and that's why they cut the head. So they were in the process of building this bike with this motor. And I that's probably where they ran into trouble. They couldn't get the exhaust on it. And, and they, they not, you know, not welders. So. Right. It looks like that's where they. Uh, that's where they stalled. Okay. It's always good to find out where somebody ran into trouble. Because yeah, then, then like, you can figure out why they stopped. And those look like fresh cuts. Like. Yeah, and cutting the head is never a good idea because 
you need these cooling fins for the way an air cool engine works is heat radiates like a heat sink to the outer part and then the air goes through and cools them when you cut these down this section of the head is going to get hotter than this side of the head and with heat on one side and less on the other that creates warping yeah yeah well we got that and I put all I brought all the parts up here so you could see looks like we this is the old block minus the piston now you're saying these cases are actually hard to come by huh yeah the cases are, some of the cases are hard to come by this cylinder right there it doesn't look too bad at all looks like you just use a little bit of a more well, looks like they honed the heck out of it oh it's been honed yeah yeah it's, the, it's, definitely, it's, been, yeah, it's definitely been that's definitely been honed a lot well on the sign here they they have 290 cc on the cover Oh uh, yeah. So all right. So that's what the one of those motors have been bored out. Probably this one. It's been bored right to the moon. Yeah. I mean, you can see where the sleeve is. Yeah, the sleeve is thin. Yeah, it's thin. They really, they really cut this. So they were gonna make a racer out of it. And then if you look right here. See all this damage to the head. Oh, so she was a rod chucker. Yeah. So what happened was with this, this thing got really hot and uh, started going to a meltdown. So you're probably gonna need crank seals on that motor. If this one came off that particular motor, I think it did. I yeah, think it did. It started the molt. So he, but the rest of it looks. Yeah, it looks good. This is the single. This is not the race head. The okay. race head's on there, but they cut the race head, which has the two plugs. Okay. There. Don't fall. All right, and then there's the Kickstarter and the bucket of bolts. Yeah. So we got the Kickstarter. We have. They made they made all their own. Yeah, it looks like this the original style mount. Yep, shift linkage. There's the linkage right there for your uh, what do you call it there? Clutch. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yep, right there. Which is on that side. Got a couple of shifters. They look in, actually in pretty good shape. The uh, what I'm looking for on the shifters is I'm looking for the spline. Right. Because these can be bent all up, and you can just put a little bit of heat to them and bend them, flex them right back. But if your spline is junk. That's where you're going to run into problems. Yeah, I started actually, if if the splines don't look good, I started throwing them away. Because yeah. next thing you know, you put one with lousy splines on, yeah, and, and, you, and you screw up the, the engine shifter shaft. Yeah, and the next thing you know, you're into a whole big repair. Okay, so we have... So this, that bolts up... On the cylinder, right, right, on, the, the, right on the other side of that. Okay. And then the exhaust slides into it, which is actually making me think that this is not the right exhaust at all because that one's at an angle, that one's straight, and that one's basically straight. Hmm. So, so that would that would require some cobbing. Yeah, now, you're going to be into that for a little bit of uh, cutting. So in your opinion, it wouldn't be a horrible thing. Because I, I have a 125cc China engine floating around. I was almost thinking of, for this to earn its keep, if I can sell the parts, as many parts as I can, and put the China engine on it, and obviously she's going to be underpowered, because this thing weighs about as much as a large SUV, maybe a small <laughs> yeah. tractor trailer. So 125 cc is going to be small for it, but with the suspension and all, and it's 125 cc, it should be a fun bike yeah, to ride. Yeah, it'll definitely be a fun bike, especially if you keep that diameter uh, sprocket in the back there. So Those aren't the most, um, they're not for speed, but they're for power. You'll get a lot of torque out of this with that big, with that big diameter sprocket. So, I mean, that thing is huge. That's going to be like a 60 plus you know, maybe even a 72 sprocket. Yeah, that so, might, I think that's a 72. That's bigger yeah. than a 60. Yeah, that's definitely going to get that front wheel right up off the ground. And even with, even with a 125 on that, it'll go pretty good. And the 125 has a hand clutch. So it'll be a little bit like riding a real motorcycle, but yeah. with only 125 cc's and the size of it, it really won't be. Now, you know, for you YouTubers out there, anybody who watches this video, you know, I don't know exactly what year this motor is or that motor is. Let's call it, I don't know, 76 to 79. When did they go with the monoshock? I, I don't remember what year on uh, Suzuki's when they went to monoshock. Um, I believe it was the, uh, 
uh, early 80s. Okay, so late 70s RM 250s, because these are bigger than, well, you looked at the serial number, so these are, are definitely 250s. Yeah, oh yeah, both models are 250s. Oh, right here, RM 250. Yeah, and the other one says that too. The one, one's newer than the other. I would say that right there would be the newer of the two. Okay, so yeah, if anybody's out there who, who needs RM250 parts, I just as soon get rid of it in one batch. Have you come to the Hudson Valley in New York, pick it up, get it out of here. You know, give me some money to defray this whole thing. We'll work on that. Um, these parts are worth like a fortune, right? Yeah, they got, they, I mean, you got a lot of money in side covers. The side covers are good, except for this one right here. Yeah. But, you I mean, you got a whole nice carb. That's a, uh, a what is it? A TM carburetor. So that's a performance carburetor. Um, it, I mean, they, they have a lot of performance parts into this. I would not, I wouldn't um, hesitate to take that cylinder off, that head off, and take a peek in that cylinder. Okay. I think, you know, I think that right there is really what you're going to find, because they bored one of these out. If it says 290 cc's, one of these is a performance built engine. Well, my understanding was this engine was on and blew up. Yeah. And uh, then he got that engine and, and put it on. And tried to, he tried to, and tried to cob it. And it looks like they got as far as the exhaust and they were screwed. Yeah. So they, they're not a welder. Obviously, he, he had enough wherewithal to do some drill press work but he didn't have enough wherewithal to, to weld up the pipe, extend the pipe a little bit. Yeah, and change it. It looks like you got the two back mounts in. Oh, actually, he had to make the bottom one, too. All three of those mounts are made, except the only one that he has the actual is this one's actual. And actually, with that one, look, he... Uh, put a spacer in it? Yeah, he had a spacer. Yeah, yeah, he put a nut in this. So I mean, that's definitely not the right motor. Yeah, that's not... 100% not. Okay. Anyway, Kevin, I, I really thank you. For anybody out there, once again, if you can uh, give me a, a few hundred bucks for all these parts, you can take both motors, the coil, the carburetor, the air cleaner, the whole shoot match. Get it out of here. Give me some money toward building this. I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. I want to thank Kevin for, thank for oops, there we are. Uh, Kevin for, um, for coming by, helping me out, taking some stuff out of here fixing some stuff up for me you know good show and uh guys get out there have a great day be careful huh safe driving bye now